So I've been fighting with this issue of the car kind of surging and bunking at like 1500 RPMs. Uh, it didn't matter if it was at idle or cruising. It was just like 5% like throttle roughly. No matter what scenario, it would like buck and surge and stuff like that. But I finally found the issue. Uh, let me go to show you what the car was doing just to give you an idea. It should go ahead and do what I was talking about now. I kind of undid what I had done to fix it. Let me show you. Okay, so it should, about 1500 RPMs, it should kind of surge. Yeah, there it is. Right there at about 1500 RPMs. It just, uh, I'm trying to hold it right there and like a part throttle, it just kind of gets stuck. It gets hung up at like 1500 RPMs. And it's the most annoying thing in the world. But let me show you what I did to fix it. All I did was replace the TPS sensor. Uh, I took apart my original, I took off the throttle body and I took it off. It's got like, I don't know how to describe it. They're like, like riveted on there, but they're threads. So you gotta kind of like chisel it off or grind it off or find a way to get it off. And the new sensor actually came with new hardware. But uh, basically when I took off the sensor, it was like destroyed inside. It was all broken. It's just a it's plastic rotor with a spring. Cause basically it's just a potentiometer. As the blade opens and closes, it changes the voltage output to the ECU. And the connection from the sensor to the blade inside of here was broken. I'll go ahead and show you what that looked like here in a second. Um, but so what I did, there's a right way to do this. And I did not do it the right way, but it is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a fix. So when the throttle is closed, it's supposed to put out 0.5 volts. And when it's all the way open, it's supposed to put out 4.5. But me, what I did is I held it at that point of the, of the surge at 1500 RPM. I held it there and I clocked it until that went away and until it, it revs smoothly at part throttle and it's just completely fixed. So I don't know what the voltages are, but I do know that it's fixed. So let me go ahead and clock it. I'm going to have to cut off for this one. We have to start the car and rotate it so it's, it smooths out again. Okay, so I got it adjusted. I'm gonna go and start it. Then it should rev smoothly at like 5% throttle. Right away you can tell it did not get stuck at 1500. Just gonna like barely, barely tap on the gas. It will slowly rev up and it does not get hung up at any RPM like it did before. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and call that a fix. I'm pretty excited because that was a really annoying issue that I had. So. Uh, just for a little update, I did order the uh, Walbro 450 that should be coming in today actually and hopefully I can stick that in this weekend. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Uh, see you on the next one.